Hello guys, this is Hamudi from Bilu Media. Welcome again guys to my channel. Today we will take a look at the Beta FPV Light Radio SIM 2, 2 SIM, sorry. And it is a fantastic way to start FPV if you are not sure if you like it or not or want to invest your money, your precious money and work into the FPV because things will get really, really expensive in, uh, in the FPV hobby and you will see as you if you like it as you go deeper and deeper into the hobby you will buy a lot a lot a lot more and there is a ton of thing to things to buy and this is an amazing amazing way to try it and still go to the full experience with the sim not the real uh, thing and see if you like it because in the simulator it's uh, it's similar to the real world of course the real world is way way more engaging and um, the experience because you have the goggles so you feel that you are really flying which is a different thing but this is uh, really good to start if you are not 100% sure because the remote controllers the, thing, the, the ones that I have here this is the TX the Radio Master TX1S Mark II Max and this is the Radio, radio Master Boxer which are amazing radios I really love them and in the simulator I tend to use one of those as well because I'm used to the form factor and how big they are uh, this one is a little bit small for me because I'm used to those one uh, but those ones are really I mean it's not the same experience it's not the same investment because this one is around 100 and something euros and this one is uh, 400 and something I think and this one is around <clears throat> $18 which is a big big difference guys and it's fantastic way to start the hobby to see if you like it or not and from there you can invest uh, into the hobby the only thing that you will lose is $18 which is nothing compared to <laughs> the what you have to uh, buy when you are in the hobby i want to see what we have in the box and uh, try it from there this is the box that it come with as you can see you have some colors here because this radio has you can buy it in different colors which is nice i mean i like that it's co co colorful it's playful here is the radio itself which we will look in a second here we have some user manual some user manual printed one and here you can see that uh, watch sim simulators are uh, supported i guess i don't know other simulators if they are supported or not but these are the most used one i use lift off and uh, a lot of people used an uncrashed and DRL, DRL which um, both are very very popular and here you have a USB type A to USB C cable but I will use USB C to USB C because I have a MacBook and uh, I have USB C connection and here you have the remote itself here you have a button a power button of course we don't have batteries because uh, you will connect it to your computer and it will get a bad, uh, power from your computer i'm not sure for what is this i guess to have access to the screws inside you have some screws here but otherwise i'm not sure for what and here you have the USB-C connection which we you will use to connect it to your computer here you have two joysticks uh, this one is the throttle and as you can see it is loose this one is the pitch and it come away come right back when you leave it this is because in FPV you have uh, the throttle has to be loose and not uh, to come back because otherwise the drone will not behave as I mean the the 
it will go fast and back fast and back and it's not possible so this is why it is like this and this is mode 2 mode 1 is the throttle on the left on the right side and here we have the throttle in the left side and here we have the yaw and here the roll the nice what is nice about this that you can adjust the height of the sticks itself if i loosen this a little bit as you can see i can uh, raise the sticks if you need a little bit more and if you use some some 3d stuff like me 3d i'm a pincher and if you use 3d insert i don't know how you call it insert or something you can attach them here which is very very nice let me show you so those one i printed them myself with my printer and they help me a lot a lot a lot with my flight i'm used to them and i can't without them i think they are a little bit thicker yeah they are a little bit thicker so i have to print uh, new ones with a smaller insert because i have a box of inserts so as you can see here you have a lot of inserts to use and i have a smaller ones uh for this as well here you have four switches two of them are two ways the bottom ones sa and sd and these are three way switches so you can for example this one adjust i mean set for arming and other other switches to emulate uh, what you do in real life like angle and acro mode and turtle mode and uh, i have i think air mode as well so this is the remote guys it's really easy and simple in it is lightweight it is 152 grams which is not much as all because you don't have a lot happening inside the battery usually weights a little bit more and this is why it doesn't weigh a lot it is built quite uh, nice in my opinion it is not uh, it, it doesn't feel ch cheap and of course it doesn't uh, feel prim as the other ones because it's not intended for this use jo the joysticks are different of course than the real one uh, the real one is much much higher performance let's say but for trying I think it will be good enough as well. So let's go ahead and uh, connect it to my computer and see how it performs actually. So you have to use a USB-C to USB-C cable in my in my case if you are using MacBook and it is really simple and when you connect it it will power on. Yeah, as you can see it has a light a green light so let's go ahead and uh, power on lift off first we have to go and calibrate the remote controller so let's go ahead and calibrate uh, i think here the controller yeah and here you press calibrate start calibration you center the sticks I will take this one. As you can see, it is flyable and it is very nice. I think I have the camera set to uh, analog this is why it looks like this but as you can see it is very nice and it works really well yeah now it is uh, digital let's try again yeah much better
Ups. <lacht> So as you can see guys it is working really well and you can feel the fun part of the FPV in the simulator too and it's a fraction of the cost I mean the remote itself cost around $18 I think and the simulator I think around $15 or $20 which in, is an amazing way to start anyways the sim you need because in the winter we don't have uh, great weather good weather to fly and a lot of us we are practicing in the simulator anyways so it is a good a good thing to invest in this simulator anyways and it's very good to have an opportunity like this to buy a cheap remote and start try the hobby if you like it and invest in the future so thank you guys very much for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.